Hello everybody, I mean it blight, I'm Andy Stanton and guess what I'm going to do for you today? I'm going to read you a little bit of my new book from my new series, The Paninis of Pompeii. This is all set in ancient Pompeii, which apparently was very spooky. Ancient, I don't know why I did that, but it was set in ancient Pompeii in the first century AD. And it's all about a family called the Paninis and I'm going to read you a little introduction to the Paninis family. It's called Caecilius and his family. Now, back in Roman times, because Roman times is what it's called, but they live in Pompeii, but it's a different town, just shut up. Now, back in Roman times, there lived a fat merchant by the name of Caecilius Maximus Panini. Caecilius was so fat that he looked a bit like a large football with a face on top, and this is what the name Caecilius means. Large football with a face on top. Caecilius had a lovely wife called Vesuvius, which means woman married to a guy who looks like a large football with a face on top. And he had a little son called Phileus, which means Phileus. Phileus was ten years old, or as the Romans said, he was X years old. The Romans were always using letters instead of numbers, and do you know why? It was because they were very stupid people indeed. Now, not only was Caecilius a fat merchant, he was a fart merchant too. You see, like many businessmen of that time, Caecilius was in the fart trade. He would buy farts down the market on a Friedericus morning for two buzzle swuzzles each. Buzzle swuzzles were the names of the coins in those days. And then on Saturanium, yes, the very next day, he'd return to the market and sell them back to the same people he just bought them off. But this time, five buzzle swuzzles each. In this way, Caecilius had grown immensely rich, and he now had over 30,000 buzzle swuzzles in the bag. 30,000 buzzle swuzzles! Can you imagine it? That's nearly 500 crumps! There you go. If you want to know what happens next, I'm not going to tell you because I've got other things to do. You can figure it out for yourself. Go read The Paninis of Pompeii because it will make your brain squirt out of your nose. I hope not.